Now, the Metropolitan Police have opened an investigation into the racist abuse directed at England players following last night's defeat. Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho and also Bukayo Saka were subjected to online hate after failing to score their penalties. Well, Saka's save penalty saw Italy crowned European champions. The FA has condemned the online abuse and urged the toughest possible punishments be handed to those responsible. Gareth Southgate says it's unforgivable. You know, my first thoughts this morning are immediately with the, uh, uh, the boys that have done so well for us and uh, the players have, have had an incredible um, togetherness and spirit which I think has brought so, so many parts of our country together. So, you know, they, they should be, and I, I think they are, incredibly proud of what they've done. Um, for some of them to be abused is unforgivable, really. Um, I know a lot of that has come from abroad. You know, the people that track those things have been able to explain that, um, but not all of it. And... Um, it's just not what we stand for. We, we, I think, have been a, a beacon of light in bringing people together, in people being able to relate to the national team. And the national team stands for everybody. And um, so that togetherness has to continue. And we've shown the power our country has when it does come together and has that energy and positivity together. We felt that from the fans. and. Um, I'm incredibly proud of the players. Well, UEFA has released this statement. UEFA strongly condemns the disgusting racist abuse directed at several England players on social media after the Euro final, which has no place in football or society. We stand by the players and the English FA's call for the strongest possible punishments. Well, Sacco's club, Arsenal, had this to say in support of their player. Last night, we witnessed the leadership and character we've always known and loved in Bukayo. However, this feeling of pride quickly turned to sorrow at the racist comments our young player was subjected to on his social media platforms after the final whistle. Once again, we're sad to have to say we condemn the racism of a number of black players. This cannot continue and the social media platforms and authorities must act to ensure this disgusting abuse to which our players are subjected on a daily basis stops now. We have processes in place internally at Arsenal to ensure our players are supported both emotionally and practically on this issue, but sadly there is only so much we can do. Our message to Bukayo is hold your head high, we are so very proud of you and we cannot wait to welcome you back home to Arsenal soon. Well, Leighton Orient have issued a three-year banning order to a supporter following reports of racist abuse on social media after the final last night. The club was alerted about the supporter in question's actions on Twitter. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge and President of the FA, posted this. I am sickened by the racist abuse aimed at England players after last night's match. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behaviour. It must stop now and all those involved should be held accountable. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, said this England team deserved to be lauded as heroes, not racially abused on social media. Those responsible for this appalling abuse should be ashamed of themselves. It's appalling. It's absolutely appalling. Um, and it has to be called out in the strongest possible terms and condemned. I was there at Wembley last night. I could see what that meant uh, for the players losing. I could see what it meant for everybody in the ground and everybody across the country. And this team have been brilliant role models on and off the pitch. They've had the courage to call out racism and stand up for equality. Um, and they've shown real leadership. Gareth Southgate and the team have shown real leadership. And this is about leadership. And I'm afraid the Prime Minister has failed the test of leadership because whatever he says today about racism, he had a simple choice at the beginning of this tournament in relation to the booing of those that were taking the knee, the players that were taking the knee. And they made it clear why they were taking the knee. The Prime Minister failed to call that out. And the actions and inactions of leaders 
have consequences. So I'm afraid the Prime Minister's words today ring hollow. Taking of the knee over last month when the players tried to explain it was to promote equality and be against racism was ridiculed by our top ranking government officials. So when we get racist abuse after a football match at the end of a tournament, I expect it, unfortunately, because it exists. I knew the minute that uh, Bukayo Saka, Rashford and Sancho missed last night, I knew we would be waking up this morning to headlines of racist abuse. Well, Facebook owners of Instagram gave us this statement. No one should have to experience racist abuse anywhere and we don't want it on Instagram. We quickly removed comments and accounts directing abuse at England's footballers last night and will continue to take action against those that break our rules. In addition to our work to remove this content, we encourage all players to turn on hidden words, a tool which means no one has to see abuse in their comments or direct messages. No one thing will fix this challenge overnight, but we're committed to keeping our community safe from abuse. Well, Twitter also responded with a statement. They said the abhorrent racist abuse directed at England players last night has absolutely no place on Twitter. In the past 24 hours, we have swiftly removed over a thousand tweets and permanently suspended a number of accounts for violating our rules, the vast majority of which we detected ourselves proactively using technology. We will continue to take action when we identify any tweets or accounts that violate our policies. I think it's pretty clear now that we've reached a level where the amount of hate speech, um, racist abuse, homophobia is appallingly unacceptable. It is blindingly obvious that we can no longer sit back and say that the solutions that are currently being used are sufficient, adequate or fit for purpose. If these companies want to demonstrate that they are truly being ethical, that they are truly acting for the benefit of the public, then they need to do more. Now, they don't necessarily have to do what we have suggested, but what we are showing is that there are genuine technical solutions that would solve the problem. They might not be solutions that at the moment society wants to accept. Fine, let's find some other solutions, but there is at least one. So let's find something that people will accept and let's make it work because what's going on at the moment is appalling and has to stop. Elsewhere, Greater Manchester Police have opened an inquiry after a mural of Marcus Rashford was defaced with graffiti. Police were called to reports of racially aggravated damage to the mural in the Withington area of the city. Greater Manchester Police say they're taking the incident seriously and appealing for information. Is this disgusting, this racist for no reason? I've just seen your face when you, you walk around the corner. What do you make of that? I think it's disgusting. I really do. People in the area have loved this. People have come from all over to see Marcus Rashford. It was a local lad, and I just think the way they've done that, it's, it's disgusting. It was a real cultural phenomenon. Everyone was watching it. Everyone was like, I'm not even a big fan of football, and I, I decided to watch it to get that feeling of, you know, basically everyone in the country is watching. But then for it to be turned into something so negative, um, yeah, it just really shows the abhorrent racism that's in this country. This is a racist country. When I saw that, I was like, has it actually got that deep that actually we have to bring race into it? Or because it's a black player that missed the penalty. Well, Sky Sports have issued a statement as well to go with a very long list and it says this. It condemns the vile, racist abuse of England's players and will continue to campaign against all online hate. Today, we're celebrating the achievements of this fantastic England team.